Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome episode of I Cook Better Your Mom and today we've got the Valentine's Day Special Edition. You ready? Let's go! So we're going to make a Japanese three course meal. We are going to start with our miso soup followed by our beautiful baked salmon with sake, white rice and gome and to top it up we are going to be serving some raspberry mango ice cream. So I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start off with our salmon. So right here, I've got 250 grams of salmon and we are going to split this. Well, we're going to chop it into four pieces, all right? All right, so now that we've got our beautiful salmon looking like this, we are going to grab our garlic and our ginger and we are going to well first of all we're going to put our salmon into our tray ready to be baked and we are going to preheat the oven 200 degrees for 20 minutes all right so that is ready to go slice we are just going to make full thick ish slices of ginger and garlic We are just going to put them on top of our salad. So now we are going to add our sesame oil, soy sauce, and our sake. So now that we've got this done, we are going to grab our green tea. We are going to open it and just put it like this not the whole bag because this is going to make the whole thing very bitter so we do not want that this is ready so we are going to add a bit of butter and that is going to be ready to rock and roll there we go All right, so now it's time to put the salmon into the oven. Remember, 200 degrees for 20 minutes. We're going to leave the first 10 minutes just like this without covering it. And then 10, after 10 minutes, we're going to come back and cover it with some um, tin foil paper. All right, so now that our salmon is getting cooked, we are going to grab a saucepan and we are going to continue with our rice. Remember our ratio that's going to be one of rice times one and a half of water. All right, that's going to be three. To this one, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of sake. Also, I'm going to add some uh, chicken bouillon and this is just a tiny bit as well. There we go. So now it's time for our spinach. All right, so after 10 minutes, this smells terrific. Look at this. Does that look great or what? So we're going to grab this. And we are going to put some aluminum paper to cover it up. Now for, for our gomae, we're going to bring some water to boil. And then we are going to add some salt. There we go. And we are going to grab our beautiful spinach, around, I'll say 250 grams of it, for close to one minute. This is very important for you to check the time because you don't want to overcook this, all right? As soon as this comes to close to one minute, between 45 seconds and one minute, drain the water and add some ice cubes on top of it if you if you have some. All right, so once the, the hot water is out, we are going to add some cold water and, there we go, and some ice cubes. 
So once our spinach is ready and cold, we're going to grab it and remove the eyes and we are going to squeeze it out. All right, so now that our spinach is ready, we are just going to cut it. Simple as that. And there we go. All right, so to this we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce half a teaspoon of sesame oil, just a tiny bit, as you can see, and one of sake. There we go. Let's bash the crap out of it. Our water is ready in a low simmer. We're going to grab a nori sheet and we are just going to add it like this. So now that that is getting ready, I'm going to grab a small um, cup, some of this water, just a little bit, as you can see. It's not important how much. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to bring our miso paste and we are going to dissolve it in here by the way this is completely optional but if you want to you can add some chicken stock or fish stock if you have some you add a tiny bit of sake as well to this there we go And then for our grand finale, we are going to make our beautiful raspberry mango ice cream. All right, so here's the trick, right? With clean hands, we are going to add some of this paper and we are going to just very carefully try to put it there. And voila. So to this, all I'm gonna have to do is add this very slowly. Good. So, now that we've got this, and this, and this, this, and our beautiful dessert is getting ready, it's time to plate. Alright, so there you have it, a magnificent feast for two people for this Valentine's Day. So if this does not blow your date's mind away, I seriously don't know what will. So remember if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, give me a like. If you've got any questions, do not hesitate to post them down below. And remember, this is Jeff from My Cook Better and Your Mom, and I'll see you next time, alright? Peace!